Good afternoon, Pat Scroy, John Cloudon here to talk to you a little bit about what's going on in the marketplace and give you updates here on at Scroy Financial, what we are doing. Um, since March 19th, when we started to do the staff reductions, uh, Scroy Financial, we are deemed essential. Uh, so we could have remained open and full, but for the safety of you, our clients, uh, for our staff and their families, we opted, opted to go to reduce work staff. And we kept it that way, encouraging all our clients to either be via the phone or Zoom. And effectively, next week, we're going to be going to a, a um, full staff uh, with optional appointments again, whether we can do them remotely, we can do them via Zoom. Or if you want to come in, we will do it on a socially distanced and uh, professional level. There'll be some of our clients that still want to do four appointments, you know, for their own peace of mind or they want to do Zoom conferences still going forward for their own peace of mind. We can we can certainly help you. We can still certainly do all that for you still moving forward um, and and make sure that you're okay because there's still a lot of people that are just very unsure in this world in which we're living in. So we can certainly um, take care of anybody we need to take care of. Now to some business, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. We jump into it to pins. It, it, yeah, it was, uh, it's, been a, it's been a fun ride. <laughs> it's been a crazy March followed by an even more surprising April, right? Everybody thought the market with the shutdowns would continue to go lower and they bounced back better than most or at least a lot of our peers and clients would have assumed, um, you know, which has been great for us and great for you as clients. You know, and that kind of dovetails perfectly for John and I to discuss you know, portfolio-wise, where do you stand, what do you do, why do you invest with a diversified portfolio, and what our viewpoint is on that. John? Yeah, I, I've always come to the conclusion with your portfolios and setting up the portfolios. People say, well, I'm this age, so I should be aggressive, or I'm this age, and I, so I should be, you know, conservative. Uh, you know, my personal feeling is age has nothing to do with it. It's a function of need. You know, you should be as risky as you need to be, and it's important to understand what your risk levels are so you're not going in and out of these, you know, trying to move to cash or move here because you're, you're too afraid of what the market has done. Um, I tell our clients in English, we are more of a singles double shop in baseball terms, right? We are gonna be consistent over a long period of time and we can control the service, but we cannot control the market. So that is our priority is about controlling the service and trying to match your risk philosophy and your sleep tolerance with the best portfolio possible. And, and these markets like this, they test your, your, your feeling of it and test your, how much can I take? You know, and a lot of times you, people will reach out to us and say, I gotta get out, I gotta get out, I gotta get out. But then you, we, we remind them of where they are and what they've come through. Pat and I, fortunately or unfortunate, we've been through three of these crazy markets now. And you know the one key factor in this is that if you stay the course, the, you've, you've been okay. It's the people who've been trying to get in and out, in and out, in and out, that's, the, you know, that's where you, you can't recover quite as quickly. Correct. So it's managing that, it's managing the risk, and again, it's also staying in touch with us. As a team, there's 28 of us here, right? We have eight full-time advisors, and really those that are the most successful are those that schedule in the most, are most regular with their communications with their advisor and the advisor's team. Uh, those seem to be the most successful long-term. You know, those that tend to go two, three, four years and they say, hey, they're more hit or miss, you know, that's where when things change, it's harder for us to adapt. So if you stay regular, you stay in touch, um, and, and we, we communicate and we're on the same page. You have the best chance of navigating any volatility in the market, regardless of what it is. On behalf of our team here at Scroy Financial, we'd like to thank all of you watching for your confidence and continued support during these unprecedented times. Again, if you ever need anything, please reach out. John and I and our, our group are always here to support you. All the best.